1 p.m. pregame here on the Big 550 KTRS, a 3 p.m. start. Tennessee Martin, the opponent's not that important. The important part is, uh, how are we looking? I guess we have to start off with Heisman Trophy candidate Drew Locke. Now, here's a question for you, Howard Richards. How much of this is hype, and how much of this is Drew Locke really could do some damage this year? Uh, I don't think there is so much hype with Drew Locke. Drew Locke is legitimate. Um, NFL rising star, or I should say, rising talent in college ranks. Uh, this is a guy that has, um, has a very strong arm. He's a smart quarterback. Uh, he's a leader on the team. He's a great uh, young man. Uh, he's a guy that this team really should look to as a leader and expect big things out of him. He's just a super talented kid. All right. So uh, now uh, the team last year came on strong in the second half, probably. A great coaching job, considering where they are. What are you going to look for tomorrow? Well, I'm not going to look for uh, a repeat of last year's uh, start. Uh, obviously, opening with Missouri State last year, uh, a disastrous first half. They allowed, I think, you know, 40 points or so, uh, 30-something points in the first half, and uh, let Missouri State score 43. You know, of course, they ended up scoring 72 themselves for a big win, but. Uh, I think it sets the tone for a, uh, a lackluster first half season. Um, you know, the, the team just underperformed, they underwhelmed, uh, and they just kind of went through the motions. You know, I expect far different issues. There was a very uh, cognizant of how they started last year. They want to avoid looking as, as bad as they did in the first half of last year. Yeah. What do you make of this new offensive coordinator? It's getting a lot of attention. I'm impressed by Derek Dooley. Um, he hasn't really revealed much of his hand, and um, I think, first of all, he's a very smart guy. Uh, he was absorbed a lot of football. He's got a great pedigree. Vince Dooley, the legendary coach from Georgia, right. is his father. And uh, he's been around some, uh, you know, pretty, I think, influential people, uh, Nick Saban being one of them. Um, he has, his last five years, he's been with the Dallas Cowboys. So he, he, I'm sure he has absorbed a lot about offensive play. I'm not worried about the fact that he hasn't called plays at all. Um, I just think that he's, he's got a, uh, a repertoire uh, that will ultimately be effective for this team this year. He's got great talent, and uh, it's just a matter of figuring out the spots uh, and how to use the talent the players that he has uh, in the most effective way. You just like him because he was with the Dallas Cowboys for a number of years. Uh, well, um, I, I can't deny that. <laughs> I mean, they were a they finished, they finished uh, as a top 10 offense in two of the, the previous four years that he's been in. So uh, you got to figure out that that's a good song. Yeah. Um, you excited to get back and rolling into the season? I am. You know, once uh, the 1st of August rolls around, you know, summer's virtually gone and it's time to start focusing on the game. And, um, you know, it's it's exciting for, for I think, Missouri fans, but also the fact that you've got a quarterback who is now in the national spotlight, and uh, I think everyone wants to see if he can uh, do at least as well as he did last year, if not exceed that. So, um, looking forward to what he's going to do. Yeah, you know better than anybody. Uh, a team sort of uh, once the team sort of uh, writes their script the first half of the season, it's awful hard to change. And the fact that Barry Odom was able to turn it around in the second half uh, and go on that run at the end. Um, I mean, that was probably one of the best coaching jobs, just considering how they started and where they were. To hold that team together, that, that was a pretty un unbelievable job by Barry Odom last year. No, I agree. It was against many odds. Uh, it's just really hard to, to make that kind of run uh, in any sport, uh, of, in football at any level. But uh, to do it in the SEC from a team that was dwelling at the bottom of uh, yeah. Of the standings, it just uh, it, it does say a lot about not just Coach Odom but also the players because they're the ones who are on the field and they're performing. Uh, so they deserve a lot of uh, a lot of credit also for their effort and their desire to you know right the ship and um, and get things going again. And I think that carryover will help them going into the start of this uh, 2018 campaign. Uh, are they still working on the stadium down there? Where are they with all of that construction? Well, I think uh, I have a about 10 days, but I think that what fans will see, they'll start to see some of the concrete pillars, structures, 
um, start to go up. So they'll see progress every week uh, that there's a home game. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's, it's going to be a spectacular facility and uh, is expected to be ready before uh, the 2019 season. And did I hear where they're going to switch sidelines? That is correct. Uh, this oh, Saturday person. will be the first time in close to 20 years that uh, the, the home team will be on the west side of the state. Yeah. And, uh, it will be an advantage, you know, for a couple of reasons. Uh, a, on the hot Saturdays, especially in September, you know, the players are out of, out of the summer. Yeah. Uh, so that does help. Uh, and also, I think, you know, Coach Odom made some good points that he, he felt that uh, visiting teams had a little bit of a competitive advantage uh, from the standpoint of signals and all that. And, you know, let's face it, we, we believe that there are people that are in the stands that do um, – uh, videotape and yeah. uh, pick up on some of the signals. So it'll be harder for the teams to do that uh, with Missouri sitting on the west side of the state. Well, you you would know that as a CIA operative. You know all those Russians that are out there trying to trying to catch all the signs from these guys. So to listen, exactly. <laughs> Russian, uh, Russians, Russians, Alabamans, Crimson Tiders. Yeah, you betcha. Exactly. Hey, here you the Cowboys before we Valley Ranch facility, we, we practiced at a, uh, basically it was like a little shack, but there was a, a days in motel behind us, and it was always thought for years that, that teams would, uh, visiting teams would rent rooms and videotape our practices, so certain points during the season, the Cowboys would buy up all the rooms in the hotel. <laughs> and, you would, and, you would and, you would and you would find Bill Belichick there, how about that? <laughs> There you go. How, Howard Richards, 3 p.m. kickoff tomorrow. Great to have you back on the air. Uh, have a good, good, good call tomorrow. So long. Uh, 859, KGRS. Hey, it's John Carney for Allen Roofing, and boy, they have grown by leaps and bounds. A brand new showroom, breathtaking place out in Ellisville, and they're still taking care of everybody. <laughs>